Hello everybody and welcome back to Mask Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Thanatoid Alien Mask from Trick or Treat Studios. So let's do this. So this is my first mask from Trick or Treat Studios and my first impression is this is really, really awesome. I like the way this mask looks. It's very H.R. Geiger. Nice details and everything going on right here. Love the shiny golden eyes and this long protruding proboscis coming out. It just looks amazing. And this mask is one of my favorite ones in particular. It's really grabbed my attention way back when I was a child. I've actually been looking at latex masks for a very, very long time. And I've always seen this one on the internet. And, you know, just now I thought, you know, hey, what if I got this one and reviewed it and had a look at it? And when I got it, I am not disappointed. I especially love the fact that there's many protruding details on top of the head, on the sides of the head, and even the eyes kind of go in and kind of like a skull formation. And with this nose and everything, just the details are so incredibly good. And of course, this sanatoid was sculpted by Bill Malone. So you can see right here. And it actually has a date, which is 1983. This one was sculpted. I mean, this is a really great sculpt. He did a really good job, nice design. Very H.R. Geiger inspired, very much like a face hugger merged with the human face and never let go. And this is just what happened. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Very cool looking. All right, well, I have it stuffed with newspaper because I originally got this all warped and crushed. Once again, some masks that you get will be warped and crushed in the mail because they get just folded to be in the packaging to fit in there but I was able to reshape it with a little bit of newspaper or foam head and then I used a heat gun. The heat gun helps kind of not melt the rubber but soften it and then it'll reshape onto whatever form you have. So you use the newspaper to reshape it, you know the list. But yes, great looking mask and I love the crack designs, look at that. I love the crack details on this head. Got crack details everywhere. These are some of the best looking details. Like right here. Love it. <laughs> anyway, this mask is so creepy and so cool in every way. And hopefully I'll be able, once again, I keep saying this over and over about all these masks that I get. Hopefully I'll be able to do a short film. Because I've been wanting to do a short film for a long time. And this was actually from a never made film called The Mirror. That was like a horror movie, of course. Look at this thing. It's pretty grotesque. But... Yes, uh, <laughs> if I could do a little thing that what I think the mirror would have been, then yeah, that'd be actually pretty cool. Anyway, as you can see, I have some newspaper in here. I'm going to take it out, and then I'm going to put the mask on. So, let's do this. All right, so th those of you who already know, know that I wear two beanies, because if the mask is too big, I wear one or two beanies, depending on the size of the mask. And it just helps to uh, shape my head into the form of the mask without changing anything too much. Like it's not like socks or newspaper, it's just a round shape. And as you can tell, this is definitely bigger than my head. So anyway, and these mirror lenses, they're like a two-way mirror. You can't, they're kind of blurry, but it's still pretty cool. I still really like the way that looks. Anyway. So if I don't look at you directly, you'll know why. All right, so this is the Thanatoid Alien Mask sculpted by Bill Malone from Trick or Treat Studios. This is a great looking horror mask, a very cool looking alien design, and a nice <laughs> proboscis just right here. Look at that thing, crazy. But yeah, great horrific looking mask. Can scare a lot of people or gross them out one thing or another. But yeah, I'm going to do a full turnaround, of course, as I always do. So you can see the full on mask. But yeah, it's very nice. And with the two beanies, it's very well done movability. Very well movability. Very, very cool, very great looking mask, very creepy.
But yeah, that's the Thanatoid Alien Mask. So guys, that was the Thanatoid Alien Mask from Trick or Treat Studios. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked this design. Comment down below what other stuff and other masks you want me to review or whatever you want me to do. And actually, you can suggest any sketches you'd like to see because I do sketch comedy as well. But anyways, back to what we were talking about. That's it for the Thanatoid Mask. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you will see me in the next video. Goodbye.